Hey, this is Redwick coming to you live from Washington, D.C. for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hensman. Washington, D.C., late night Kill Tony. You guys ready for this shit or what? Let's fucking do it then. The Late Show, Kill Tony, our first night ever in Washington, D.C., coming off a hot first show. Hey, look, it's Brian Redman, everybody! Hey. Wow, exciting. History was made hours ago when we had our first ever live Kill Tony in Washington, D.C. How exciting. You guys pumped for The Late Show? They say The Late Show's... Historically, late shows are always better than first shows. Uh, we're excited. Life is good. Um, we're on the road continuously. Four stand-up shows this weekend. Two tomorrow, two the next night, right here. Catch the new uh, hour-long set from me, including spots with all your favorite Kill Tony members, Red Band, Jeremiah, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. And then we go Sunday to New York City, live from the Gramercy Theater for our third time this year. Very exciting stuff. We are the number one live podcast in the world after all. Crazy. Columbus, Ohio, December 12th. Pittsburgh, December 14th. And Cleveland, December 15th. All at big, big venues. Very exciting stuff. Ryan J. E. Belt made unbelievable posters oh, for this trip. So Special cool. DC posters that uh, pay homage to DC, the comic books. I'm yeah. actually the Joker on this yeah. one. Which and is I'm, of exciting. course, Wonder Woman, but I have a good crotch. Check it out. There you go. <laughs> that fucking hot crotch. Little thigh gap for the first yeah, time in your that's life. The first time in my life. That's right. And, uh, you know, we took a lot of risks starting a show like that. People thought we were crazy. We didn't make a penny our first few years doing it. Uh, you know, we gave away tickets for free at the comedy store in the belly room, and we built an infrastructure, and now we're in the main room every single Monday, even when we're on tour. We fill it up every Monday, which is a goddamn anomaly. If you could have seen what the comedy store looked like when I got there 12 years ago on Mondays, that room sat dark and empty, and we couldn't be more proud of the work that we're doing. We take a lot of chances when we know how to place our bets, and that's why I go to my bookie. It's fast, it's easy, and they pay when you win. Let's face it, where you're betting is just as important as who you're betting on. I wouldn't be telling you guys to bet with them if they weren't the absolute best. I mean, do the smart thing. If you're going to bet this football season, bet with my bookie. Did you know when you bet on games after the kickoff, if you don't like what's going on, you can always switch teams? And like, that's crazy. Bet on the other side. Yeah, if bet you on made the a bad side. decision beforehand, yeah. you're feeling, feeling iffy about it, change your bet. You how, can still win. How can you do that? That's insane. If you're the kind of guy that likes to bet a little and win a lot, Try a parlay. If you if your picks come through, you'll multiply your winnings. And no matter how you bet, this NFL season is the best time of the year, right? That's absolutely true. You know Business me. is a booming. Join now and my bookie will double your first deposit. Use promo code Tony to activate the offer. That's promo code Tony. That's pretty easy. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid. My goodness, how exciting is that? Just unbelievable stuff. And, you know, life is good. I used to have a lot of depression and anxiety and things like that. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, a lot of days were cold, bad days. You know what I mean? Cold, bad days. Cold, bad days. CBD. Hey, that reminds hey. me. Infinite CBD. Infinite CBD offers the cleanest, healthiest, and purest forms of CBD available. Hemp grown organically in Colorado. Pure CBD isolate testing over 99% real CBD. Da, that's depression. Dep <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's depression, anxiety, and insomnia. Those are three things that CBD can help you out with. Da. You know, they have... <laughs> <laughs> this month we are highlighting the gummy bears. Man, I love these gummy bears. They got some new flavors. These gummy bears, they got sour grape, sour peach, sour watermelon, sour blue raspberry, sour strawberry. And for the seasonal apple pie, they have a real apple cider vinegar in it. That's crazy. Oh, my I goodness. Know. Made with real apple cider. cider. Not, Not the vinegar, vinegar, just real apple yeah, cider. Yeah, yeah. Go to InfiniteCBD.com. That's InfiniteCBD.com. And if you use promo code TONY15, you get 15% off. That's InfiniteCBD.com. Use the promo code TONY15. Get 15% off. Duh. <laughs> and that's good. It's good to be able to save money and do good things and uh, have a lot of fun doing that, right? And you know what you could do with the extra money that you save? 
You can put it in your new Ridge wallet. That's what we have. That's what we use. I used to have an old janky wallet. You know those old bad Midwest East Coast tendencies of having this thick wallet with every business card and food food card, uh, right? Yeah, the, like the, Great uh, Clips cards, you Subway know. card, yeah, Subway McDonald's cards, McDonald's, card, McDonald's Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's card. Yeah, Wendy's. You have all the cards. Yeah. The Ridge wallet makes it easy. It's sleek. It's made out of titanium or carbon fiber or aluminum, and it's really thin. It keeps you in check, and uh, life's just simpler and more beautiful when you're organized. Yeah, I think it's cool. When we got it, like, I think you immediately figure out, like, hey, this is way better, and you don't want to put extra shit in your wallet. Like, right. it's so nice and cool. It's like having a new new iPhone or something in your pocket. You don't have to put it in your back pocket where it's hurting your back while you're sitting on it. You just have this little thing in your front pocket. It's great. It's easy to travel with. It just just makes life a lot better and you'll never believe this but you'll get 10 percent off today with free worldwide shipping and returns and again you get free returns if you don't like it and there's a lifetime warranty if you do like it it's a win-win situation i would bet on them at my bookie.ag but instead i just have one i use one it's a product that i believe in i'm getting my entire family them for christmas my family doesn't listen to kill tony so i can say that uh go to ridge.com slash kill tony use the code kill tony and uh make sure you use that code because that's how they'll know we sent you get 10 percent off that's ridge.com slash kill tony <laughs> not gonna lie to you we read three ads today because the band had to get ready. There's a band here, ladies and gentlemen. We brought them with us. It's their first time ever performing in D.C. Tonight is. So uh, let's see what happens. This last episode, you know, there are always different characters. This last episode, we were graced with the presence of the great Donald J. Trump and Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Every We never know... Uh, and that's a perfect example. That's our first time having Alexandra on this show. Donald Trump, clearly a return guest. We've seen him before. We never know what's going to happen. I had to face this direction the whole time because we were sharing a green room back there. They've been getting ready for a long time. Let's see what the verdict is. Let's see what they are tonight. They're going to be with us all night. It's the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez. Here we go. Wait, What? Oh, my God. What? You work at Blockbuster? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? This is incredible. This is the first time these guys have been on this show. I'm positive of it. Uh, wow. This is very exciting. Clearly, uh, Blockbuster employees. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm guessing you must be Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh <laughs> What's oh, your name? No, my name is Spencer. Spencer? <laughs> yeah. Wow, Spencer. Very interesting. I just got my learner's permit. You did? Oh, you're a young guy, huh? How old are you? <laughs> yeah, 15. Wow, Spencer. Look at you. My goodness. This is your first time on the show. You yeah, know and my first job, man. Don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Blockbuster, you mean? Yeah, Blockbuster is my first job. Yeah. 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 Well, welcome, Spencer. This is a very exciting thing. You work, uh, you, you're from here around the D.C. area? Uh, you know, uh, there's only one Blockbuster left, um, and, and that's in, like, uh, well, I can't say the exact location of it, but, <laughs> you know. Why can't you say it? Oh, I don't know. I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then, um, oh, uh, wow. I don't and know where I work, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just a teenager, <laughs> My goodness, and back here, clearly you brought with you uh, what appears to be a... Uh, Pedro? Um, Vote for Pedro. A, uh, a beautiful young woman? I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. I wish I could have fast-forwarded to the end of that punchline, dude. Well, Name's oh, that's a good blockbuster. I get it. It yeah, really isn't a punchline. freaking problem, dude. The name's Kyle, dude. You really just look like yourself today, Joel. Uh, so that's why I had trouble <laughs> I, uh, thinking of anything that I haven't said a million times before. You really think my hair is this thick, dude? I, I don't know. All right. I guess so. Uh, uh, blockbuster hands. employees. I'm yeah. starting to see why they went out of business. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't the customer <laughs> service. <laughs> um, can I say, Spencer, I've never seen anyone with a smaller forehead than you in my entire <laughs> life. I don't know. Yeah, it's a condition. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We got Spencer and Kyle from Blockbuster. We got Red Band Soundboard, which brings me to this, the fucking dirty DC bucket of destiny right here. The birthplace of America, the capital of the greatest nation on the planet. Heck yeah. 
This is one of the original buckets here in Washington, D.C. This is one of the original buckets ever made in America. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> you guys know how it works. I pull a name out of it. Someone gets to come up and do 60 seconds of uninterrupted stand-up comedy, and then I interview them after uh, their time is up, find out more about their lives. So you know that your 60 seconds is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry DuPont Circle bear. Yeah! That's where we are. And we are here in DuPont Circle, from what I've been told. So the bear is very close, and it's ready to come out. So make sure you oh, do your Jesus. time. It's oh, by the way, animals. to get on yeah, stage. Yes. Very good. There's yeah. only one entrance way, only one way up. You must be wondering how, because the whole front's covered. You have to go through that door all the way over there. You have to make your way over there. You go through the door, make a right turn. Take your time walking through there. There's a lot of uh, crazy things to your left and right. Don't look at them or stare at them. Get immediately to the stage. Cool? You guys ready to start this fucking show? Be careful coming up to the stage if you get called. And for those of you in the aisleways and whatnot, tuck your feet in when people are getting through. Come on, be polite and be a team player. You guys ready for this? Here we fucking go. The final DC, uh, DC Kill Tony of the Night, show number two. Put your hands together for your first comedian. Getting us started. Make some noise for Ethan Young. Here we go. Uh, Ethan Young. Uh, hey, the Jurassic Park theme. Uh, uh, here he is, Ethan Young, everybody. Hi, everyone. The, uh, I'm Ethan. Uh, I'm originally from uh, California, if you couldn't already tell by uh, what I look like. Uh, my, my friends, they, they tell me I look like Ellen DeGeneres, and I just don't understand why. I mean, I just... I mean, they, they even they label me as the trans in the group. Like, I don't I look that much like a woman, right? I mean, I used to have long hair, like, past my shoulders. And... And I think that the, when I decided to cut my hair, is I was I was in the DCA airport. I won't call it that asshole's name. I was in the DCA airport, and I was uh, I was walking in, and, and this guy was walking out of the men's restroom, and he goes, "Oh, excuse me, this is the ooh," and he walked off, and I was like, "Oh, he was about to say this is the women's restroom, and I shouldn't be going in here," and I felt a little awkward, so I decided to cut my hair. But it, there's benefits of having short hair. <laughs> There's benefits of looking like a woman, you know. Lots of gay men and lesbians buy you drinks and bars. I gotta say that. So thank you. Fuck yeah, Ethan Young. <laughs> Ethan Young. I'm gonna be honest with you, Ethan. I didn't. Yes. Hit, I I missed the, about the first 35 seconds of your sex. I was laughing hysterically because for the first time in the history of the show, I turned to Jeremiah, the saxophone player, and I said that sounded like shit when he played the. <laughs> Jurassic Park theme, and we had our own little laugh. Every once in a while, you gotta break the monotony up of the show. Step away from the tone. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in high school. I'm still taking lessons. <laughs> I missed the beginning, but I'm guessing by the, by just the sound of uh, the beats and timing. I've been doing this show long enough. My guess is that you probably played it safe comedically. Probably made a joke about how you look like Ellen DeGeneres or like a woman or something like that, and then. And then referenced it at the end, brought it back with a call back to that, but it didn't really work that well the first time, so it just sort of floundered out at the end. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. No, I love it. This right. is your that's first time right. doing stand-up, correct? It's my third time. Okay, good enough. How about a hand for Ethan, everybody? Third time doing stand-up. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're doing things that, that m should work, that should that, that make sense that it would work. But the truth is, man... You're, you're, I feel like you're, and I don't know, all, all I know is the little bit of what I've seen so far. Right. And I, uh, I can just tell, because, you know, I've been doing this for a long fucking time. And not this show, I'm just talking about stand-up. You walk through rooms, you hear stuff, is your work. I used to work the door at the comedy store. I've heard so many people make jokes about how they look like a woman or how they look like Ellen DeGeneres. You know what I mean? You're be I can tell that there's more behind the fucking surface. Plus, you look like a regular grown man. You sort of have you, you have very bull dikey haircut going on, but other than that, you look like you could be a fucking surfer dude or something like that. Like I'm not really seeing the Ellen DeGeneres thing. Me, I look like a bitch. You know what I mean? That's just a fact. 
Uh, no, I don't think that's. No, true. I know, I know, I know. But but I give the I give the haters yeah, what they yeah, want. Yeah, then I can on. then I spot them and remember where they're sitting and <laughs> how to talk to them at the meet and greet after the show. You know what I mean? Oh, good, nice to meet you too. Fuck. You know what I mean? That's what I do. Yeah, you you gotta pick out the haters. Anyway, first. let's find out more about you, Ethan, because I'm sure if we scratch the surface, we're gonna find something. Third time doing stand up. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in a like an international democracy development NGO what here in DC. What the fuck, man? That yeah, is the most. Typical, I work in DC. Is is, is yeah, the answer? That is the, the most answer. Washington DC answer yeah, yeah, yeah. I've ever heard. That's no, true. International democracy. How's that going? These fucking animals out there don't know shit about democracy. Am I right? I work in Latin America, so at the moment it's it's it, there's a lot to work. There's a lot of work to do. Is all I'll say. That's, you ain't that's lying. Look at this fucking guy back here. Why don't you start with him? Teach him how so to be. You're a from good Mexico, US though, citizen. right? Mexico's doing pretty well. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're doing great. A family of eight was just murdered yeah. on the border yesterday, but yeah, they're just doing great. Those were in white Mexico. Mormons, though. They weren't. They had no place down there. You know? Oh ah. my God, what the fuck's going on over here? <laughs> my goodness, busting out that fucking Grandma Christmas sweater early this year, huh? Look at you. This is what I wore to work today. I, can, I nice. know. I'm in an international <laughs> democracy. What do you want me to do? Uh, this is what we wear. All right, so let's talk about it. You're 23 years old. What do you do for fun? What do you got going on with yourself? I, I, I mean, I love to travel. I save money to travel. Yeah. I like to rock climb. You know, I'm, I'm a typical Californian kid, though. I mean, I rock climb, I hike, I bike. What I'm the walking stereotype of California. I'm from California. I do none of those things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, what part, uh, L.A.? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck L.A. Whoa. Oh, what the what fuck the does that mean? Fuck. Fuck Why do you where? say that? Where are you from? I'm from the Bay Area. There's a big rivalry between the two of us. I got to represent the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah, there's a big rivalry. Sure, yeah. One place it's fucking rainy and the other's beautiful. What are you talking about, you moron? <laughs> you have I'll to rationalize every time. everything. Yeah. You're not very democratic, let me tell you that. Jeremiah, I mean, uh, Spencer. Yeah, this is like that one time in the West Side Story when they were all like... Ah. Seems like a very wise reference for a high school uh, video store clerk. Yeah, it's an old movie, man. <laughs> wow. So, Ethan, tell us something. Uh, tell us some things that are more vulnerable about you. You know, everything. Everything you're telling us is uh, other than that you look like a woman. You know, <laughs> what's some like embarrassing stuff or something? You know, that maybe you know. Some like some like Spencer. Deep shit Go ahead. Yeah, my girlfriend started her period, and I accidentally said ooh. All right, there you go. And All right. All Ethan, right. how about you? I'll open up. I mean, uh, Here my dad gambled away all his money and had to flee to Canada. That was uh, that was rough. <laughs> Red band. What did he? What did he gamble? Red. What did he gamble it on, Ethan? Oh, what what didn't he gamble it on? I don't know. What question. didn't he gamble? Sure, answer either I one mean, of the questions. We got. We got. Do you think he went to mybookie.ag and uh, think, used the promo code hey. Tony? If you want to be like my dad, go to mybookie.ag. Okay, Ethan, stop taking creative chances on this show. It's not working. It's not working. Um, so your dad gambled all the money away. How long are you, is him and your mom still together? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. They divorced then when he gambled oh, all the money I, away? I thank God they divorced when I was two, so my mom had her money, and he just gambled away his money. Oh. So, yeah, I know. Right. My mom's a smart woman. So. Yeah, what does she do? She's a school teacher right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, she, she didn't really have much money to gamble. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to gamble when there's a fucking she 15 went that, minimum like, she on went a roulette table. Yeah, yields. just talk whenever you want, you fucking idiot. Sure, go ahead. Don't you step on anything. You asked me about me. Yeah, okay, Ethan. No, it's okay. Now just say whatever you were going to say because the joke won't work that I was going to make. Go ahead. What were you going to say? What'd you I was going to say she went from Wall Street guilt, so she made money on Wall Street, and oh. then she was like, shit, I got to do something good for the world, public school teacher. Right, uh, bottom yeah. of the barrel. Um, What's, no, I, that was like the money... What's your year. dad doing now? Is your dad alive or did you? Oh yeah, he's alive. Yeah. yeah. What's he doing now? Uh, consulting Canadian marijuana businesses on the side. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Some ba- adds up. <laughs> Risky business. Uh, that's in our crime section. <laughs> so what's your uh, what's your love life like, Ethan? It's fine. I mean, you know, it's DC. It's good for a straight man that looks like a lesbian woman. Back to that again, huh? How long have you lived here? Uh, about. Four and a half years now. Four and a half years. Uh, and you came here for work? 
Uh, school originally, I stayed for work. What, yeah. was, what school? GW, George Washington. Whoa, look at that. Wow, I can't believe that shit graduated from anywhere. That's incredible. <laughs> Doesn't sound, that wasn't a very educated whoop-de-whoop that I heard. Uh, wow. So, I mean, you said that you'd open up and that you would tell us some more vulnerable stuff about you, but you really just said that your dad gambled all the money away. Anything else you can think about? You have any weird habits or anything you do? You, like, uh, you know, you, you do anything fucking goofy in your daily routine that you think, oh, man, I hope people don't find out about this. Other than dress like you're from the Middle Ages? I don't <laughs> I don't know if that's really middle age attire. Yeah, what kind like of middle age. ages are you talking about? Shines shoes for like a night or something. All right. Anyway, uh, oh back boy. to you in the studio, Tony. I, uh, <laughs> Thank you. We, and we are back. Um, uh, a, a kid in King Arthur's Court, the family section. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okie dokie. Uh, so, Ethan, anything that you can think of that's a little bit, you know, not that would, we would all think it might be weird or interesting or anything like that? Well, I mean, I've always had this thought that getting pegged wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, you know? Like, all right, well. Wow. I really so think men need to be more open to their, their prostate. This Ellen shit and that on top of it, I think we all know where this is going. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Am I, am I pigeonholing myself? Is there a guy that wants to give this guy a kiss for the first time in his life? He's, have you ever kissed a man before? Oh, ma- uh, a couple times. Oh, okay, really forget for it me, then. So. Wow, there's a lot of people that wanted wow. to do it. <laughs> all of them raised their hands. I know. All right, everybody relax, relax, relax. We don't need this fucking family fe- family feud-style show going on over here. <laughs> All right, Ethan, I'm going to let you get back out there. There's a lot of people drinking. Thank well, you, maybe one of them will butt-fuck you. Ethan Young, everybody. There we go. Interesting way to start the show. In my opinion, I think the pegging thing at the end was a Hail Mary effort to show vulnerability. I don't even believe him. Yeah, I can always tell when a guy really wants to get butt fucked. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He was eager. That was the old bluff a Rooney, just like his dad at the poker table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad bluff. I could read him like a book. Okay, this looks like a good name. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Monford Davis. Monford oh. Davis. Here comes Monford. It's about to go down. We are live in D.C. for kill. Tony, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Spencer. Wow, here he is, Monford Davis. What's up, Kill Tony? I, I like feeding my girlfriend while she's sleeping. Uh, just something easy, just like Reese's Pieces. She's, she's unconscious and it's irresistible at the time. She's sleeping, just, um, mm, that's so good, give me more. But she gets mad because she starts getting acne and uh, start, she starts gaining weight and <laughs> she says, Munford, why do you do that? And I respond by saying, don't you know what the game plan is? I'm trying to make you fat and undesirable for any other potential suitors. (laughs) So we broke up. (laughs) Who's the asshole that's always holding the door open for me when I'm just one too many steps away? Catching any time I gotta speed walk up to the door and shit? (laughs) That's my time, thank you. There you go, Munford Davis. I like your style. Fuck yeah. One of the best looking people I've seen since we got here in Washington, D.C. here today. Just a beautiful specimen of a man. Like How a are Wash- you, Munford? That was fun. You, how long have you been doing stand-up? Four months. Four months. Very good. Looks like you're uh, getting some footing underneath you. And some pudding underneath you, perhaps, as well. <laughs> so four months in the game. Something happened where you wanted to start now? How old are you? 26. 26. What happened four months ago? What, what, what changed in which you're like, I'm going to fucking do this one. I'm going to stop. Oh, okay, are you okay? Okay. You had a little quick cough there out of nowhere. Yeah, very good. You handled it well, right into the sleeve. Heck yeah. So uh, what made you start stand-up? What made you want to do this? 
A, a, a breakup, Tony. A, a breakup. breakup. Yeah. Was it the breakup with the girl that you were trying to fatten up? Was that real? Yeah, it was real. My it's goodness. Real. Looks like you... <laughs> we, we, you wow. And you really told her that? That you were trying to fatten her up? Like as a joke? Yeah, joke That's not jokingly. Right. But, uh, I, what really happened? How long were you with this girl? Two and a half years. Two and uh, a half years. My goodness. What do you do for work? Um, I do a little internet transcription, audio transcription. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it w um, what, what's I'm on disability, Tony. Oh, yeah? For what? What do you... What's... What uh, is it? Schizophrenia. Oh, really? Oh, fuck yeah. This is shit just got even more exciting than I ever could have uh, I could have imagined. Uh, so, like, what's, uh, what's been a wild episode for you? You ever do anything that people would consider fucking crazy? You know uh, I mean? How many? So many. Um, one time I thought that I had children out there, mm -hmm. and <laughs> no basis for that whatsoever. <laughs> well, I mean, Dude. you have been... I think I, I would completely disagree because you have looked pregnant for most of your life, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> How many children did you think you had? I thought I had a, at least one, and I acted on this delusion, and I, I got a vasectomy when I was 21. Wait a second. What? Oh, my God. I've never... <laughs> my God. Dude, you're, now, the, you're the coolest guy I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't decide whether getting a vasectomy off of a schizophrenic delusion is nuts or not nuts. Like, it's actually hard to, hard to describe. So how long did this delusion last for? Is this, like, weeks long? Because you had to plan it with a doctor, unless you did it yourself. Yeah, uh, a couple months after that, I, I had the break and was in, in the hospital. Oh, okay. How long were you in the hospital for? 30 days. 30 days. Hell yeah. And that's how you became to be uh, the Penguin, one of Batman's arch nemesis. Who's an uh, Arkham Asylum? Did you have to pay any late fees after that thirty days? Oh, the Blockbuster employees. A different time. That's fun. You, uh, you, you see any cute girls when you were in uh, what they call the Looney Bin? Correct. Tony actually. Uh, I love it when I people did. when people's answers start with Tony. Yeah. That always means a great answer. I, I like coming. it, Anthony. Somehow, better, one hundred percent of the time. But go ahead. I was getting el ECT treatment, electroconvulsive therapy. Oh, yes. Wait, they still do that? They still yep. do that, and uh, the thirty days felt like three days. I lost a lot of the memory, but uh, apparently, I. But you I didn't lose any of the weight, and that's what matters the most. You know what I mean? No, you lost a lot of the memory, but. Uh, I guess I. Okay, there's Brody Stevens. Shout out to uh, all mental health illnesses. A lot of people tell me that uh, we help their depression a lot. I, I tend to think it's more the infinite CBD. You know what I mean? Like anxiety, depression, all the first uh, telltale signs. Anyway, um, you close with your family? Yeah, I'm close. Yeah, everybody's nice. You have brothers and sisters. I have a younger sister. Did, does she have any signs of schizophrenia as well? No. Oh, no, wow. She's good. That's interesting. Do you think it was, uh, do you think it's just, you know, perhaps onset by a moment of your life or anything like that? Or is there. I dabble pretty hard in psychedelics. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. that shit speeds it up, right? Yeah. 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 But apparently, I still have the gene. Uh, right, right, right. Hoo when, oh, wow. Look at that. That's a wild reference out of nowhere. You've been hanging out at the Blockbuster, Spencer? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you had, like, an issue? Like, It's been, like, uh, three, four years. I've been good. I live on my own. I drive. Oh, that's great. great. Heck yeah. Like oh. There you go. I love that. Very cool. What do you do for fun? What are we talking about? You just uh, plan school shootings but never go through with it? No, I'm kidding. That's a uh, joke. Uh, I knew you. I said open mics. Open Bo mics. Bowling for Columbine documentary <laughs> session. <laughs> how about when? How about other than uh, stand-up comedy? Anything else fun? You have any hobbies or anything like that? I like uh, going out into in the woods and picking mushrooms. Wow. Whoa, so you're still doing this I, uh, shit? Uh, <laughs> you don't eat the mushrooms that you pick. A microdose. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. No, that's a bad idea. Spencer. Have you ever seen the movie The Blair Witch Project? <laughs> uh, yes. 
Did you like it? <laughs> All right, uh, Spencer. But uh, like, <laughs> it, don't you think that's a bad <laughs> idea though? Like, that uh, that can't be good for you if you're. If I'm. I'm, in, I'm mainly just like hunting them and finding them. And right. Eating them and tripping and <laughs> <laughs> furthering your schizophrenia. Stop it, please. Red, red band's very concerned because he's scared for anyone that eats fresh vegetables of yeah, any kind. Uh, have you have you tried a Dave's double yet? Uh. Yeah. Hey Munford, I'm gonna tell you something. I love your style, man. And for four months, you're you know you're playing with fire. You have something uh, really special. And I say, lean into this thing. Use the open mics as your own fucking awesome. There, we all use it as therapy for numerous fucking undiagnosed mental disorders that we all have. And uh, a lot of the best are absolutely fucking wild men. So use it, fucking focus all that energy. And when you feel when you feel bad, uh, that's when you should write a joke. Because if you can write a joke when your brain's w w wanting to bring you down, that's gonna make your writing muscle much stronger. So it's a time to embrace that. Positive push. That's right. <laughs> yeah. How about one more time for Munford Davis, ladies and gentlemen? He's on social media at Munford Davis. All one word, M-O-N-F-O-R-D-D-A-V-I-S. That's deep. Yeah, I like that. I always like fucking, it's always, in, it's always so fun to me how, uh, how many different shapes and sizes and styles of different comedians we get to sign up for this show. You guys having fun out there? All right. Clearly anything can happen on this show. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Travis Carl. Here we go. Step back. That ledge, my friend. Step, step back. Step back from that ledge, my friend. So I, uh, I was at my friend's house the other day, and he was telling me that he walked in on his 10-year-old son watching porn on the family computer, and he was very upset by this because he was worried that watching porn at that young an age was going to like warp his son's mind. And he was just like, man, we didn't have this when we were his age. We couldn't just get online and pull up any level of pornography. I don't know what that's going to do to his head. And I'm a good friend, so I went... Hey, to be fair, that is true. We didn't have a Pornhub. When we were his age, if we wanted to see a naked woman, we would have to go to a blockbuster. Uh, <laughs> go through the horror section and then try and find a movie that had tits in it. My point is, every woman I jerked off to until I was 15 years old died horribly 10 <laughs> seconds later. Yep. There you go, Travis Carl. Absolutely. Wow, I love that. Hello, Travis. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Heck yeah. A little nervous. I bet you are. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> you caught him. Wow. So, Travis, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years. All of it here in D.C.? Uh, no, I'm from uh, Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. Oh, yeah. very cool. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. Relax yeah, a God, little he's bit. He's got that right? Virginia meth right God, here. who gets that excited for anything in Virginia? <laughs> My God. Is that where you were born and raised, Virginia Beach? I was born in uh, Phoenix. I was okay. raised in Phoenix. I... How'd you end up out there? Uh, well, I ended up moving to San Diego to be a civilian contractor with the Navy. Uh -huh. And then uh, flew out. They transferred me out to... Virginia Beach to work. So that's what you are. You Those work, shipyards, yeah. You work with the Navy. Well, no. Now I am a underground utility contractor. Whoa. Wow. Hell I yeah. Put we're, we're an underground podcast. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, underground? I take block? hydrochloric acid and I flush it through uh, pipes to oh, okay. take Walt out the buildup. Walter build White settled yeah, down. Yeah, a little bit. You know what I mean? Wow. My goodness. And 10 years to one stand-up, and you do it all around these areas? Uh, Yeah, I try to. I am. Uh huh. How do you know about? How do you know about this show? Uh, oh, I'm a fan. I went and saw you in Philly when you were there. Oh, Didn't cool. make it on, and right. 
So you were coming here, so we drove up. Awesome. I love it. Who's we? Who'd you drive? Uh, up? It's me, uh, my friend Vicky and Keller there in the back. Ooh, Vicky and Keller. Oh, my God. Is it Helen Keller? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, don't, don't start so that stupid. again. Yeah, nothing but trouble. <laughs> Another viral video. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, Travis, tell us about you. What are some fun facts about Travis? That um, we don't know? I think here. Uh, oh, I was almost arrested once for uh, attempted rape on Vicky. Oh who's my in the God. back. Wow. Jeez, that, so- that sounds about right. How did that happen? <laughs> we That's we were I drinking think. in Richmond, and she was blackout drunk and uh, pissed in the middle of the street uh-huh. and then passed out with her pants down. Uh-huh, and you're just standing there on the sidewalk stroking it, right? Just fucking spitting on your hand, just fucking staring right at it. You're trying to get underneath her squat in the middle of the street, get some of that piss on you, you know what I mean? You look like sort of like George R.R. R. Kelly, you know what <laughs> I mean? No, I tried to put her pants back on. And like, oh, wow. Uh, Welcome to another episode of This is Rape, everyone. Uh, the old reverse rapist. No, I'm putting her pants back on. Also, my mom was there. Who? My mom was there. Oh mom was joining God. in on the rape? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> One in the Vicky, two in the Sticky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, my God. I just learned the Cosby theme. <laughs> wow. It's very good. My goodness. So hey. what happened? Did the cops let you off? Uh, yes, but it was a long, long conversation, mm. in which I had to introduce my mother to them. And oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, no one rapes in front of their own mother. Well, maybe I was trying to pull her, pa- and a cop like turned around the corner. Flashers go off. Let's check in with Spencer real quick. Yeah, can I just say, uh, "Tempted Rape on Vicky" is my favorite Sublime song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Wow, my goodness! You ever you ever end up hooking up with Vicky or ha- doing anything? No, no. Uh, we're friends because she used to date my best friend, and then we were uh, all roommates, and then he killed himself, and then we became. We have a long, uh, complicated backstory. Oh my God! <laughs> he killed himself while he was living with you and Vicky. Yeah. yeah. Wow! How did he do it? Uh, pills and Miller Lite. Oh my God! <laughs> you know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't even think he needed the pills. I think it was just the (laughs) Miller Lite. You drink enough of that shit. Anyway, uh, that's exciting. Wow. So how how long ago did that happen? Uh, Five, six years ago. My goodness. You guys still all live together? Uh, No, no. He's in heaven. No, I know. I'm not asking about the dead guy. Oh, Oh, you guys like that? Oh, you like it? Sons of bitches. Seventh heaven, uh, all seasons, one through nine, uh, in the family uh, section. <laughs> yes, I know he's dead, but do you still live No, none of us live together anymore. Right, right, right. That's sort of ruined the whole part. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No reason to apo- There's nothing worse than apologies on <laughs> My goodness gracious. So what's your living situation now? Uh, I'm currently a 35-year-old man living with my parents. Wow. That's fun. Oh, my goodness. You uh, you have your own bedroom, or I do, yeah. Is it, is, it, is it above? Is it? Is that? It's second mean? floor bedroom, so yeah, oh, I'm out of the I'm out of the basement. Wow, it's your Star Wars to... toys collection must be amazing. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my God. <laughs> so how do you how do you get the the girls upstairs to rape them? Like, is it? Like oh, a... on the street. That's why I have to oh, do it in the street. You, you, you ever bring a girl back to your parents' house? Uh, no, not yet. Wow. When's the last time you've been with a woman sexually? Uh, <laughs> um, well, so it's my, been a couple weeks. My girlfriend said we're on a break ever since I accidentally said ooh when she got her period, so. <laughs> yeah, that sounds familiar. So, a couple weeks ago, what happened? Where'd you meet that girl? Oh, I hooked up with an ex. Oh, look at that. Oh, you, you dirty dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did that go down? Uh,. In a car, because I live with my parents. Oh, wow. So you had sexual intercourse in a car, full-blown sex? No, no, oral. What kind, oral. Of, what kind you, of car? Did you give oral, or did you just no, receive? No, just received. And what kind of car was it? <laughs> it was a Ford Edge. Wow, look at that. that. That's a rape car, if I've ever heard of one before in my life. 
Ford Edge says one of your friends just killed himself a few years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just the type of car you buy when a friend kills yeah. him. So you guys <laughs> luckily don't have to worry about these types of things. When Brody killed himself, we all almost bought a Ford Edge yeah. at one point. <laughs> it's true. I, uh, it's, it's a weird thing. I ended up... Okay, okay. All right. Unbelievable. All right. Well, Travis, uh, we love it when veterans of the comedy game come on and flex their muscles. Ten years in the game is a compliment to us on this show that uh, you even uh, have the balls to sign up for it. It's only a minute, but you were unbelievable. Great interview. That's what I, I love. appreciate it. Travis. <laughs> Carl. Instagram. Travis underscore S underscore Carl. Theo, get off of Rudy. Ledge. Yes. How about a hand for Spencer and Kyle over here? <laughs> Kyle still finding his footing a little bit here tonight, huh? A little, a uh, little bit of the iceberg here tonight. Hey man, be kind. Hey, sometimes, sometimes it helps. It makes them the underdog if I lower the expectations a bit. Anyway, uh, now that I've done that, it probably won't work at all. <laughs> Pulled another name out. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Yeah. Bunch of animals here tonight. Put your hands together for your next comedian, JP. JP. Whoa, loud guy. This dude's been loud all night. He's about to get some energy out right now. From the loud guy in the front row to the oh. man behind the microphone. Hey. Look who's in the front row right here. Yeah, you remember yeah. these guys? Some, some celebrities from New York are here, everybody. Yeah. The, the juggler and his lovely wife. Here he is, JP. What's up, DC? Hey! So you guys probably know me as the loud guy from VB. So guys, have you ever uh, masturbated so many times in a day that your dick gets rug burn? Yeah. 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 Well, it's not... Okay, well... Well, that didn't work. <laughs> So I started dressing. Uh, I started dressing better. It's a shame because uh, although I look nice, I still have a small dick. So, so I went to culinary school and I like to cook. And recently, I found out that the secret ingredient to every meal is pot. Yeah. Any weed smokers out there? That's right. Uh, people say you are what you eat, so that makes me a huge pussy. <laughs> So, uh, I usually get made fun of the way I look, my beard and such. Uh, people like to tell me I look like Hey Arthur. Honestly, I look like Hey Arthur and Saddam Hussein had a baby. There you go. JP. 60 seconds. Uninterrupted. Wow. Uh, I mean... You should run for office, dude. That's what I think. You did a lot of jokes, and you got people to literally verbally agree with you on a lot of those things. I've never really seen that before on a comedy show where someone's like, hey, you ever uh, you ever jerk off so much you get rug burn on your dick? Guys in the audience are just like, yes, yes. Then yeah. you moved on to another thing. I thought the fucking, I thought the heat was coming. I, you had everybody right where, oh, there you go, uh, I guess. From, from the looks of you, it was prayer rug burn. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Thank Look you. at that. Look at that. Look what yes. happens. Sometimes you got to knock them down to bring them back up. You know what I mean? It's fucking Urban Meyer right there. You got to fucking be a leader. <laughs> anyway, JP. Uh, Aladdin, yes, the A sir. section. Ah. Hey. So, JP, this is clearly your very first time ever attempting stand-up. fourth time. Fourth time. Uh, let's just say it's your first time. Uh Sorry. Normally, I just say, oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah, this is your first time. There's the go to the Thank first you. time. Don't try to cut its head off and sacrifice it. Um, oh, God, I was ready. JP, what ethnicity are you? I can't. I'm not Indian okay. or any Middle Eastern. I'm a, sure. I'm a, mi I'm a mutt of, of, of a mu among mutts. I'm a Native American, uh, Cuban, Puerto Rican, African American, as well as French. Oh, God. 
Oh, oh. Boo oh. French. Literally. Hey, fuck you, bull, boo French. I think they were booing all the races you named. Name them one more time. B- black? Name, 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 name them again from the beginning. You so, said you're a mutt. Go ahead. Name them. So my, uh, my mother is Puerto Rican, Cuban, and... It- <laughs> I'm not even from here. I don't get it. No, my mother's Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Native American. Wow. Okay, hey, I don't speak Spanish. Don't get mad at me. JP, Boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. And my father's uh, African American, Native American. Bacon soda. That's what. Hit me with a bacon soda. Uh, no, African American, um, Native American, and also French Canadian. Wow. Uh, Let's check in with Spencer Shit. over here. So you s- you said that you're Native American, uh, and there's only a little bit left in you, so you must be one of the last Mohicans. <laughs> oh, last of the Mohicans. Aisle two at your local blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, it's three ninety nine. Wow, that's a pricey, pricey <laughs> you, thing. Hell yeah. So let's talk about it, JP. Other than your disgusting blood that flows through your body, um, yeah. is it true what you said about having a, uh, a small dick? Uh, you have to ask my girlfriend. Honestly, I honestly I think it's small. No, how big is it? Show me with your fingers. Oh, no, okay, okay well. no, hey, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. She has a, to her. She's the one with the big pussy, though. Remember, he said that she she has a big pussy. You I, said that. I am what I eat. Right. Yeah. So, so how big is her pussy? No, he didn't say she has a big pussy. He just says he eats a lot of pussy. No, but she a big pussy. There it is. Did Tony's you say you say she has a big pussy during your? No, no, she does not have a big pussy. Right. I just I eat a lot. Right. And yeah, it was exactly. more of, yeah. yeah. You, got, you got it, Tony. No, I got you. I young, got you. Top, young, top young JP, Ron shut Canadian. the fuck up. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, I am. I work in insurance. I sell our company's website to uh, different companies. Oh, my God. Wow. God these, damn. These people, these people hate you. They, do, they hate me. What do you do for fun? You have any fun hobbies? I do a lot. I, I used to coach and instruct judo um, for... <laughs> I've never seen this before. You're one of the most unliked people in the history of this show. It's unbelievable. Um, let me try again. I, I, I play D&D. Oh, come on. Now you're going right into it. Is uh, there something you can tell this audience that will make them like you right now? You are on the chopping block, my friend. This is incredible. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be on the chopping block. On, uh, I, I really enjoy... I really enjoy... I really enjoy hanging out with my friends. How many of you want to see me murder this man right now, huh? We got to give the people what they want. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you slide here uh, on this one. Thank you. Thank, honestly, thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to kill you. But I, w- I, I do interesting things. I, I've instructed judo for kids before. Um, I used to... I recently got into uh, orbiting. It's uh, it's it's sort of like a, a flow kind of thing with music. JP, we're going to do something special that we've sure, never done sure. before in the history sure. of the show. You're sitting in the front row. You've been loud all night since the show began. You finally had your opportunity. You finally had your opportunity to have uninterrupted time and get to speak your mind, and, and, and it turns out you're one of the worst people in the history of the show. So, my friend, I got bad news for you. Look at your disappointed girlfriend while I do it. This is so funny. Sad face Jenkins over here. And by the way, by the way, let it, let it be known how fitting this is that with the Blockbuster guys, this type of tape is happening right now. There he goes. Tape of the mouth, JP, everybody. There you go. There you go. JP. There you go. Looks like he's not eating pussy tonight. <laughs> he's on social media at Beanie King JP. B E A N I E. I love it when that weird shit happens where the crowd just totally. <laughs> there you go. They turned on him. But I will say this. Let me remind you all that during Comedian 60 Seconds, don't heckle or agree or, or say things in between their jokes. Let the tension build and break and then when it's done you know and if you really hate someone you could fucking yell whatever you want you know what i mean but just give them the 60 seconds i know we're having fun right cool okay great your next comedian goes by the name of nick gianni nick gianni here he comes he's excited from the second row 
said, yes, sir, the second I pulled his name. He's ready. I can feel it. This guy is ready. Nick Gianni. Jeez. <laughs> One more time for Nick Gianni. What's up, Comedy Loft? I, uh... I apologize for the way I look. I just uh, rolled out right out of my sister's bed and came straight here. I, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, I gotta get a new hobby. I do. I gotta get a, a new hobby. I'm, uh, I gotta stop going to orgies. I, uh, she got tired of holding my mom's purse, really. My dad always giving me fist bumps and whatnot. I had to get out of there. No, but uh, the closest I did ever get to an orgy was uh, having sex in, uh, in the same room about uh, five feet away was a young woman and another man. They were having sex, and uh, the lights were off. Thank God for them. Thank you. Okay, is that it? I'll end it. No, there's more. You want me to no, go yeah, on? Yeah, let's hear the rest of it, Spencer. Yes, let's sir. Let's hear the rest of the, it. Uh, thank God for them. The lights were off. Uh, because, uh, uh, But uh, it was really hard to concentrate in that room. It was really hard to concentrate. Uh, all I could hear was really uh, the sounds of the other guy doing a much better job than I was. <laughs> it sounded like he was plunging a toilet. Oh, come on. He's on the punchline. We were going to let him finish it. Come on, Red What was the last thing going to be? What was the last thing? He sounded like he was punching what? It sounded like he was plunging a toilet. Plunging and a toilet. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, right. I like your style. There you I go. Do like I do like that. I do like that. That's we funny. Cut me off, man. I have one more. I know, but it's when you go to the expert, oh, it's supposed to be like bro. five or ten seconds. I'm yeah, sorry, it's bro. Good. It's not, it's I'm no sorry, bro. I've been planning for this forever. It's I'm sorry, right. Tony. What's no, up? No, don't apologize. I consider that Red Band's fuck up, to be nah, honest. No, Thank you. Right. Fuck yeah, two man. Minutes you now. can continue the joke. I still love you, Red Band. I'm still a big fan. It's okay. He fucks up all the time. There's no repercussions. Nothing changes. Yeah. Uh... So Nick, let's yes, talk sir. about it. First time doing stand up? Yeah, no, 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 How no. How long no. you been doing uh, it? A couple years, about two years. A couple now. years, two yes, years. All of it here in D.C. Uh, no, uh, down on the Eastern Shore in uh, Salisbury. Salisbury. Anybody? Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Oh my God. My goodness. Yes, sir. <laughs> Putting the Eastern Shore on the map. Wow. Hell yeah, yes, you sir. are. Look at you. Yes, sir. You look like you have. Uh, you look like you have a lot of uh, Nazi tattoos underneath that hoodie. Am I right? This is good. Whoa, what is he about to show uh, us? He pulled up a sleeve. What is this? Is there something? No tattoos? Nothing, nothing sir. What, what do you, he, he just has a face tattoo of Edward Norton in American History X. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you a Giants fan? Those yes, really sir. exist? Yes, sir. I knew I knew that was going to come up. Yes, yeah. sir. How does that I'm ride or die, man. I got five uncles right. all from Long Island. Right, right, right. And you guys all work in the same business? No. 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 <laughs> No. <laughs> what do you do for work? No. I uh, Unfortunately, I work at a uh, grocery store, a big uh, conglomerate. Uh, I won't say what it is, but it rhymes with uh, Aldi. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, Heck, God. yeah. You've been looking like you look like you've been eating all the stuff in the candy section. <laughs> you can use uh, that if you want. A buck 25, Tony? A buck 25? Is, Come that, on. is that what you're guessing I weigh? No. Uh, oh yeah. A buck twenty. Is that what you weigh? I don't know. I'm. I don't know what you're referencing. What's a buck twenty-five? Everything at the goddamn Aldi. Oh, oh, I had no idea. Okay, okay, sir. Fucking relax. Well, that's this hell. guy. It's a, you're the bad coke guy on this show. Yes. Second row. There you go. Take some of JP's tape. Yeah, take tape. some of the there tape. You go. There you go. You're Chris. Pass the there tape. You go. Well, just relax, pal. It's a live show, and there's everybody else so that's around you that's enjoying themselves. Don't make it about yourself. I think you can. I think you fucking can. I bet you can. I know, I, I'll bet you anything that you fucking can. I'll bet you you could look deep inside your fucking soul or you'll be standing out in the rain in two fucking minutes. How about that? Oh, is it? I'll bet you anything. There's nothing this crowd would like more than to see someone get kicked out. Don't give them what they want, please. Just shut the fuck up. You gonna shut the fuck up? You're not? Okay. I, I promise you that if you yell out one more fucking time, I promise you, and it'll give me great joy, 
they will kick you out. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Tony. I promise you. Tony. And I'm always right. And hey. you probably, if this is how you're behaving now, I promise you, you probably live a life of fucking losing. So, Tony. We're, we're opposites. Calm down. Tony. Like oh, we got him. We got him right guy. where I fucking He's want him. Gentleman. Yeah, I know. His name's Scotty. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, Nick, tell us stuff about yes, you. Sir. What do you like yes, to do sir. for fun? What are like I, uh, hobbies? I coach high school football. I coach oh, high school I football. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, JV football. I'm a JV offensive line coach. I mean, it's not exciting, but that's fun. Fuck, man. Good team. Yeah, we went seven and two this year. Wow. How do you do it? Seven and two. How do you keep the seven. kids all in line? How do I keep them in line? Yeah. Dude, I fucking lose my Fuck shit. Them. Give them some Dude, of that. I lose my give shit. Give them some of that fucking Jerry Sandusky treatment. Yeah. No. Uh, you son of a bitch. I bet you do. You son of a bitch. Of course, you, lo you look like you hate showers, so, I mean, you're probably not really. Just like Sandusky. You, I took you, my once, weekly one today. Thank you. Yes, sir. You look like you sit in one of those, like, outdoor baths that have a, that are, like, made of a big silver trash can. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Like the, uh, like, uh, it in, doesn't uh, matter. He looks. He looks like if you pulled out the CD in his car, the out would pop out the best of Smash Mouth. Yeah. That's true. I agree with that. 100%. I fuck with Smash Mouth. Yeah, man. You, I fuck with Smash Mouth. For sure. I love it, Nick. Yes, you, drink, you drink a lot of water? Uh, a fair amount. I know... Uh, I know I look like I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> I know I look like I'm tired. I don't. Really, I know I, I look like I'm tired, say man. That. You look no, tired. I, yeah, I do. I usually I drink probably about five, six bottles of water a day, man. Honestly, wow. that's very good. Free Willy, but, uh, the kids section. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> huh? Very interesting stuff, Nick. You look. Uh, you look like you burn crosses on people's lawns and then just make s'mores in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're not wrong with that. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. What what is that? What race do you hate the most? If you were to choose one. Wow, that's a segue for you. If you had to choose one race, gun to the head. What, what? race do you hate the most? I got you, I got you. All of you get yeah, right. Whatever. The Simpsons are. I don't. Ah, I like I that. Very safe maneuver there. I Very good. I don't understand. Do so Asian. Right. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait. Is that because they're yellow, Brian? What? Yeah. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Nick just whispered in my ear five of the ethnicities that JP was. So, I mean, let's see. That's the oh, proper French, answer. Huh? Yes, sir. Nick, you knocked it out tonight, dude. You're I appreciate you, man. doing it. You got good beats, good timing. I appreciate you. You executed real jokes. Very fun stuff. Nick Gianni, everybody. He's on Instagram, and I'm Nick Gianni. Feels good in here now. Feels good in here now. How about this side over here? Are you guys okay tonight? Everything good over here? Yeah. All right, good. A little shallow darkness back here. All right. Let's see what happens here with the comedy stylings of Adam Dever. Dever. Adam Dewer. Devar. Adam. Dever. Adam. Here comes Adam. Mm -hmm. Wow, what is wow. this? You riffing this? Spencer's just freestyling a song right now. Elliot Law? Well, one more time for Adam and Dever. I fucking love dogs, man. I love them. Everybody's got a dog. They call them rescue dogs, or as I call them, guilt-free punching bags. They're awesome. I've had a few of them. You know, I always wonder, with my dog was a male, I always wondered if that red thing was really as salty as it looks. I figured Red Band could tell me. <laughs> Just got through a marriage. That was rough, you know? The whole time, everything went bad. All the years I was in it. As I was coming out, I, I found where my wife hid all her sex toys. And I was quite disappointed to find they were under my 16-year-old's bed. Whoa. She didn't even know what she was doing with them. They all smelled like shit. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got here. There you go. He's bailing out. 43 seconds. Adam DeVere. Am I saying that right? DeVere? DeVere? Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I am frightened of you. Uh, 
you have these wild, uh, you have this uh, wild, like, meth energy to you that... Uh, and, 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 and you like to hurt animals. <laughs> Fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. You yeah. got domestic abuse face. Yeah. yeah, you do. That's exactly what it is. Hell yeah. So uh, let's talk about it, Adam. Um, how long have you been doing comedy? First time. There you go. Pop that cherry. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. How old are you? 36. 36? Wow, you look yeah, younger than that. It's crazy. You, you look... You look a lot of drugs, man. Yeah. Yeah. What, what oh, drugs? <laughs> What drugs are you into? Uh, I don't really do any drugs. Oh, okay. I smoke weed now and again, that's it. Smoke weed, that's it. Yeah. What do you do I've for work? Years, You're, uh, this guy's ripped. A little bit. Uh, I drive a truck, man. You drive a truck? Yeah. Whoa, like in over the top. Wow. <laughs> drive a truck? How do you get so buffed? Do you have no power steering fluid in that fucking thing? <laughs> Uh, I drive around the city here, man. There's a lot of turns. I'm constantly moving the wheel. Wow, that's incredible. That's a lot. Li- uh, these pussy ass Uber drivers are all built like me. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's you out there just killing it. It sucks. Wow. How long you been driving a truck for? Uh, it's about my fourth year. The uh, fourth year. Wow. What was wait? What was that? Is that Sylvester Stallone? Hey, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Wow. My goodness. There you go. Yeah, I gotta pick my kid up for this uh, arm wrestling championship. <laughs> All right. Don't make me turn my hat around backwards, man. <laughs> so, Adam, you've never actually hit a dog, correct? No. No. Do you, what, do you have a dog? I had an awesome dog, man, 16 years. And you had it? It yeah, died? It died. Oh, no. <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, last, last summer. Last summer. Yeah. Just died of old age? No, I killed it. You killed it? I had to take it to the vet and be put to sleep. Right. I'm so you did it yourself. Care. Right. Yeah. So how'd you do it? Put your talk right into the tip of that microphone. Uh, the vet actually gave him a shot and he died. Oh, that so I oh I thought you meant you did it. Like I, I, I could picture joking. the vet being like, I'm going to put it down. It's going to be 75 bucks. And you're like, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah. That's what I really, nah. 100%. Yeah, he was old age, bad hips. He was a pit bull. They don't last that long. Right. I had a feeling it was a pit bull. That was my next question. Yeah. Is there any chance you could put the uh, the rapper Pitbull down at a veterinarian sometime? Let's give him a shot. I don't know if I need the vet. Right. Um, that's fun. So uh, what do you do for fun? You seem like the kind of guy that has cool hobbies, right? Like you uh, you attend hot dog eating competitions. You just watch. You don't even participate. Am I right? No, I would kill it. Um, right. I work out. I hunt, fish. Uh-huh. Wow, that's I so also cool. live on the shore. What shore? Eastern shore. Yeah. What? Well, what part? I mean, isn't everybody on the eastern shore here? I don't right. know. I don't even understand how you guys think. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Denton, about 30 miles from you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Relax. Relax. Sit down. Sit down. A bunch of goddamn animals here tonight. Uh, so, wow. Uh, eastern shore is just a long stretch. Is that correct? It's uh, between here and the ocean in Maryland. Right. Yeah. You right. sure about that? <laughs> huh. How about your love life? What's that like? Uh, just getting divorced, man. That's right. Yeah. But uh, but you have, have you had any rebounds yet? A little. Oh, oh, look at you, you naughty boy. How long were you with your wife for? Uh, off and on for 12 years. Off and on for 12 years. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I think I recognize you from an old Jerry Springer episode. It's this possible. is exciting. Yeah, yeah. Off and on for 12 years. And now it's off. Why, would it, why was it so on again and off again, do you think? You're out there driving a truck, ran into some fucking Try lot lizards, you know what nah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. I wish that was the case. Nah, mm-hmm. just trying not to give up. Mm-hmm. So. Did she cheat? Did you cheat? Anybody <laughs> cheat? She cheated? You uh, came home from a truck know, driving shift? Let me guess. <laughs> you came home from a truck driving shift, somebody left their gun holster on your side of the bed, you know what I'm saying? As far as I know, that didn't happen. Right. So. All right. Well, that's what, probably what she said. Right. That's fun. Interesting. Now, let me ask you this. If uh, if Jeremiah and I drove by you, Jeremiah in the passenger seat, and he rolled down the window and gave you one of these, would you honk? A hundred percent of the you, time. You honk every time someone every gives you that I signal? Every time I see it, yeah. All right. Kids and adults alike? Doesn't matter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know what? That's, at the end of the day, that's all that fucking matters yeah. is a being a good truck driver, and everybody knows that's the only part of truck driving that fucking matters. If you honk, doesn't even matter if you stay between the lines or signal for lane changes. 
if you honk when someone gives you that signal, you're a real goddamn American, Adam. And you know what? Just for that, you're my favorite so far tonight. There he goes, Adam DeVere, everybody. Wow. Spencer... Spencer's uh, hairline has actually moved forward as the show has gone on. Yeah, it's a condition. <laughs> All right. Pulled another name out. Here we go. Paldo DP. Pablo DP. Pablo DP. There's groans in the audience. Pablo DP. You guys having fun out there? Here he is, Pablo DP. Yo, DC, what's up, guys? <laughs> World Series baseball champs. <laughs> no, but for real, though, DC is such a political town. We saw everybody on TV give their opinions of the World Series champions, and everybody gave like their opinion on Trump. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, yo, Trump's an asshole, Trump is racist, blah, 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 blah. But then what pissed me off was that somebody said... Yo, you know Trump? The, runches, the Russians, the fucking Russians, they helped him win the elections. <laughs> but then the guy who said this, he was wearing a fucking Caps jersey. And you can guess what it said. It said motherfucking Ovenchkin. Do you know where Ovenchkin's from? He's Russian. He ain't American, dude. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so this one time, I helplessly and... Um, I helplessly watched my friend get molested. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Right, we're on, we're on. Pablo DP. Sure. Okay. Grab that microphone. Very interesting take. Uh, so this was clearly an attempt at combining really just more thoughts than anything else together. Did a little one-two punch of baseball and politics. Two things people stopped taking seriously at the end of the 90s. Uh, it's like your live journal or something. It, it's DC. It's DC. It's DC. It's DC. Are you sure about that? Because it seemed like that's how that would have gone pretty much anywhere in the country. Uh, I don't think they were really with you on that. Did you notice that at all? I'm not going to lie, dude. Um, 60 seconds go by fast. Yeah, I bet. It seemed to go a lot slower for everyone else that's been on tonight. <laughs> But uh, you gave it a shot. First time trying stand-up? That's right, sir. <laughs> I don't even know if I believe you on that one. <laughs> yeah. It is my first time. It really is? That's right, yep. Okay, very good. That's right. I like, I like that. That's right. That's what you say. Instead of yes, you just say that's right. That's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you are correct. Pablo, so what do you do for work? I am a leasing agent. I sell luxury apartments. I bet you do. Oh, shit. Oh, Here God. we go. It has begun. Can't this is where it starts on these people's jobs. Spencer. I, I, well, I had a problem with your set about is like you kept talking about how that guy's like not American. And your name's Pablo, man. <laughs> that is true. I grew up dirt poor in Argentina. Yep. You grew up very poor in Argentina. That is correct. How There's long? an Argentina in India. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You should know where Argentina is. How long have you? Uh, how long have you been in America? I've been here for twenty years now. Wow, twenty years. How old are you? I am twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Heck yeah. Oh, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you do for fun? I like to play tennis, mountain bike. Um, you know, actually, the first. Yo, what? You guys don't like tennis? You mountain bike? Yes, I do, sir. Yeah, where do you where do you go around? Where, where do you like to bicycle at? Uh, in Virginia, near uh, George Washington's house. Uh, you know where he grew tobacco? Near there, yep. Oh, okay. Near where he grew tobacco. Correct. That's fun. Interesting stuff. You have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. What ethnicity is she? She's Asian. Whoa, look out. <laughs> wow. Where'd I you, like this guy. Where'd you meet her at? Where'd you meet her? Where'd you meet the Asian? I met her at the mall. Oh, yeah? Uh, crouching, right. crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <laughs> Such a foreign film. I love it. What were you doing at the mall? 
I was a teenager. I was just kind of hanging around. Um, I actually just came from Blockbuster when I met her. Is that true? Yeah, that's oh my, uh, my first drug dealer was from Blockbuster. Your first drug dealer was at Blockbuster? Yeah, the other, the only other guy in town, he was a little like too sketchy for me. From, from Blockbuster to Busting Insider. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> what kind of Asian is she? She's half Chinese, half Vietnamese. So, yeah. you know. Wow, look at Whoa, that. Whoa, the okay. dangerous kind. You know, it's, it's, it's all right. We, uh, you know. Uh-huh. You have any special moves that you do in the bedroom? Any, th- any little special tricks that you have? Being Argentinian, a real romantic, you seem? Uh, no, not, not really. Just uh, pretty standard. You know, uh, you know, whatever position you can think of, like, we've done it. So that's about it. Really? Yeah. Have you ever done it with your feet over your head? No, 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 no. I'm actually, uh, you know, I like I stretch every day. I stretch oh, you every do? day. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, you know, eventually, like when I'm older, I want to uh, try some weird shit. Yep. Right. Hey, this guy. Yep. Very interesting. You, uh, you've ever been on stage before doing anything other than stand-up comedy? Um, I, I, I used to be in a band, and we once uh, played um, at a concert uh, on a Sunday night. What instrument in the band did you play? I played the bass. Oh, okay. That's fun. I would have loved to have seen you get your ass beat tonight in a drum off, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Well, Pablo, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, you, you scare me more than the buff meth head that was on just before you. Yo, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Wait, why is that, Tony? Um, Because there's something that just seems a little bit wibbly wobbly about you. Like really? There's something no, a little hey, like hey, loose, wait, wait, like, a, like the way you communicate. Like uh, right now, you see what you're doing? See your body language. Okay, what are you? Hey, what are you hey. putting? The, are you hitting me with the force right now? No. So, um, you know, I I was sober. Uh, That's good. Stay sober. Don't look. Don't about seven p.m. earlier tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, calling sick um, from work tomorrow. So my boss sees this. I'm fucking fired. How how long have you been sober for? Since New Year's. Since New Year's. And that's probably for a reason. Something happened on New Year's. You got a little extra sloppy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little, um, you know, just, just drinking too much. Uh, I didn't like feeling like shit at work. But, right. Um, and then what happened tonight? You got a little nervous before the show after you signed up or what happened? Yeah. So, um, you know, I actually practiced my set. Um, I had more jokes, but. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> The, th- the thing about DC is that you can kind of go to the store and kind of buy weed. That's like something that's like a little bit new. So, you know. Oh, so it was pot that you did. Yeah, and I took a few caffeine pills and drank a little bit too much. Caffeine pills? Caffeine pills oh, and f- drank too much. Fuck? That's right, Tony. Well, you're full of excuses. If you had as many jokes as you had excuses, you would have fucking killed tonight. Yeah. How about a hand for Pablo DP, everyone? We're going to keep moving along. On to the next one. All right, put your hands together for your next comedian, Victoria Thompson. Here we go, Victoria yeah. Thompson. Get a lady up here. Wow, here she comes from deep in the back of the room, Victoria Thompson. I wish. That you would step back from that ledge. Here she is, Victoria Thompson. Come on, make some noise for her, everybody. How's it going? So, um, I really hate this whole uh, free the nipple movement. Because, like, my tits the only thing I got going for me right now. You know, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm almost 30. It's uh, too late now to get a personality. So Thanksgiving's around the corner And uh, my family's still kind of mad at me Because Last year for uh, You know Dinner I brought two sides And a uh, spray bottle for my grandma To start getting a little racist And um, I think I brought the wrong one Because now she's saying she doesn't see color (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I have a gap in uh, my teeth and then, you know, it makes uh, blowjobs like really fucking special. Keep going, keep going. I want to I wanna hear this all the way to the end. <laughs> it makes it special. Why? 
Was that the, was that it? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the, it's when, when you finally get that extra point, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wait, what? You get the extra point? Uh, extra I don't point. get it. Talk about shooting in her face. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I like that. It's good. Okay. I got that. <laughs> good. It's like the extra point in football. Yeah. There you go. Victoria Thompson. <laughs> Very fun. Hell yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. You seem cool to me. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, this is like my third time. Third time ever on stage. When did you st- How long ago was your first time? Oh, God. Uh, like a month, maybe? A month ago. Heck yeah. You from around this area? Uh, no, I came here from North Carolina. Oh, wow. Oh. Another, person making the, another person making the long trip, huh? Oh, wait. Are you Vicky? Yeah. Oh, you're no, the Vicky. Oh, no, not that Vicky. Oh. I'm a Vicky, but not that Vicky. Oh, oh okay. I'm actually... Uh, <laughs> this was all starting to make sense, I was going to say. That's my mom. I, uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Heck yeah. That's fun. So, uh, third time in a month you've been doing standing up. What do you do for a living? I work at a farmer's market. Wow. What do you do at the farmer's market? I Quality control? Quality... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to test that cucumber, man, you know? I, I bet. <laughs> Heck yeah. can, can I just say, when you, when you said you had a gap, Brian, look between your legs. I know. I, I love gaps. Heck yeah. <laughs> you're adorable. You're a sweet little thing. You're a, you're a, you have a boyfriend? I'm single. Whoa. <gasps> how'd that happen? What's going on here? Oh. Oh. It seems like, so especially <laughs> in the Washington, D.C. area, someone like you would get scooped right the fuck up, right? <laughs> you ever you ever take a walk on a street in Anacosta before? That did that reference That's didn't work reference. both shows tonight. I can't believe it. <laughs> Anacosta. Someone's That's a talking. reference. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a, I'm intrigued. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. That's why. Oh, okay. Costia. It'll, I'll never need to know it again. <laughs> Me neither. That's it. There were two kill Tonys tonight. That was it. Those were my two chances, and it did go- it went bad both times. So Anna Costia. All right. Well, that's fun. <laughs> All the way from North Carolina. That's a that's a pretty long drive. We spoke to some people, other people that were from North Carolina earlier. That's you weren't with them though, huh? Nope, I'm I'm actually here with one of the other Kill Tony subreddit mods, uh, Dame. Oh wow! Hey. I'm the, hey. Oh, there's Kill Tony <laughs> subreddit mods here. You guys do a good job. Yeah, thanks for deleting all the bad shit people say about me. You guys really uh, put a lot of extra work in. I'm sure. I'm the most hated one. I'm the I'm the hot mod. <laughs> wow, the hot mod. I'm the hot mod. Like, yeah. Are you the one that makes the baseball cards? Uh, yeah, fo- that yes, you? it's me. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. They're dope. Wow, look at that. I, I don't know what's brand, going on. But, um, yeah, I make uh, custom uh, sports cards, and I, I'm actually working on, like, a whole Katoni collection. I've got Jesus. Jeremiah Dunn. I've got uh, Joel. I'm working on yours, Tony, and Red Band. Oh, wow. I, I'm lost. <laughs> 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 You're hot. I love it. I love it. I love, I love you to death, Brian, but I don't know what the fuck to do for you. It's hard. <laughs> What, like what sport? No. I don't understand. No, How does it hard. work? I don't know. I mean, but well, no, um, I take like uh, sports cards and I like uh, paint over them or like draw over them with, uh, you know, like like stuff. And I, I don't know. They're Get some bowling cards. <laughs> <laughs> what type of uh, what type of guys are you into? What type of guys do you like to date, Victoria? Oh, God. Um, the wrong ones, usually. Um, uh-huh. like, Tell me about it, sister. <laughs> like your most... Like your most recent relationship, what was that like? Uh, um, it was it was okay. It was a short lived. Like I I went through. He was a midget. <laughs> he was big. He was big where it counted, man. It's okay. He was big. Uh, Go wallet. Ahead. It was short lived. What, what what happened there? What, what what was that about? Where'd you guys meet? Oh, uh, I met on. Uh, it was like one of those date naps. Oh hell like yeah! I, so I went through like a, a farmers uh, only. <laughs> she works at a I think market. that's where I'm gonna have to like okay. try again. I don't know, but I, I went through like when I turned 18, I started dating someone, and I ended up being like with them for eight years, and it was not a good relationship. And I was kind of like afraid to go back into the dating game. Right, he was a truck like, driver, and he seemed abusive <laughs> to dogs, and. <laughs> 
He wasn't. He wasn't driving in the right lane. If you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> explain, <laughs> explain what that means. What does yeah. that mean? He, was, he wasn't. He wasn't driving in my vagina. Oh, he wasn't. Well. There, were, there wasn't a lot of sex going on. Not a lot of sex. Oh, that's a goddamn mm. shame. I know, right? Like, yeah, yeah. That's that's no fun. How <laughs> how little sex are we talking about? Like. Well, I mean, it, I guess it was okay for him, but it was like maybe once a week. Oh, maybe. Wow. I mean, I did you used to have sex a lot and then it went to that? Okay, yes. I get, wait. Wait, 40 guys are booing sex once a week. <laughs> did it start off like you had sex all the time and then it got yes. to once a week? That's normal, honestly, for every relationship in the world, mostly. I, you know, I, well, in I the whole wide not. world. world. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Victoria, what else about you? Anything else crazy about you that uh, that we should know about about your life or your history? Any fun Ooh. facts about you? You ever uh, you ever like uh, swim across Lake Erie or anything <laughs> like that? Or uh, it's on know. my bucket list. I bet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a long fuck it list. So <laughs> what's a fuck it list? People I want to fuck. Really? Uh. Wow. Yeah. Who's on it? Let's start naming names. Oh shit! All right. So well, first of all, I guess I can just say it like Joel. Whoa! It feels good to be. Wow. How many? I work at a farmer's market. <laughs> I love potatoes. How many of you think they should go play Seven in Heaven in that back green room right now, huh? <laughs> For the first time ever in Kill Tony history, yeah. Yeah. this is a Mexican scum off. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, Come on. I'll kiss her. Whoa, all right, here we go. Come on up here. Make sure you center it upright for the camera right there. It's right, right that way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God! She just squirted so much. Joel almost swam back to Mexico in it. Ay, ay, ay. You have herpes now. <laughs> oh, wow! Look at that. Not the first time I've seen a Mexican inside the Gap before. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> my goodness! Looks like you found a looks like you found a crack in the wall to sneak into, huh? <laughs> That's I was trying to figure. You seem very sexual. Have you ever done any like camming or like any? Is there any nudes out there we can Uh-oh. look at? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> red, red band, red band's like a bear. You can <laughs> smell a cam girl from two miles away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cam girl, but I do have a, a lot of interesting. Oh yeah, uh, what Reddit subreddit is this? Uh, <laughs> I haven't moved there yet, but see me after the show. Okay. Whoa, the Joel right. <laughs> that holy shit! From the red band to the bread pan. Oh, Look at uh, this. The bread pan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm uh, 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 areola size, like small, or are we talking like pierce? Pierce. Pierce. Uh, good girl. But that's a pierce nipple. <laughs> Pierce nipple. We're talking about the areola. Are we talking about like a like a bottle cap or, or a drink coaster? Or like or what are we Folgers talking about? Folgers can. <laughs> no. Bottle cap. Bottle, bottle cap. cap. Wow. Snare Tiny drum. Tiny. Snare drum. <laughs> All right. How about one more time for the great Victoria Thompson, everybody? One of my favorite sets of the night so far. She's on Twitter at Married to Metal X, all one word. Married to Metal, M-E-T-A-L X, all one word. My goodness. Kill Tony makes stuff. people's dreams come true. Yeah, it's true. Absolutely true. You know what? Let's do something fun before getting back to the bucket. There was a, uh, a young man who, uh, who actually we gave a bonus spot to for this show. Uh, from the first show, uh, he had a very, very amazing performance. So uh, let's get him back up here to do a brand new minute. Our favorite comedian in Washington, D.C. so far. Make some noise for Martin Phillips, everybody. Here we go. Where's he at? Here he comes, everybody. Here he comes. You saw him on the last episode. He's back again. Martin Phillips, everybody. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, 
you know, I, I, I still get nervous when I'm up here. So someone gave me advice. He said, you know, just act like you're drunk. So, <laughs> so taking that advice, I think I'm about to undo my pants and piss everywhere. Uh, yes. You guys in the front row, oh man. Man, I've, uh, I've had trouble with women ever since I can remember. And, uh, all started in second grade with uh, a girl. Uh, she showed me her nipple. <laughs> and I told the teacher. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I wish I had a better ending to that story. You know, I, I took the road less traveled. Uh, but I, uh, I actually, actually, I work in a school. And, you know, they always have the school shooting thing, you know, to give teachers guns, you know. And I think I don't like it because I'm, like, inexperienced, you know. I feel like I'd be a bad shot, you know. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I God, God for, here's the last part, God forbid anything happens. The headline would be, like, school shooter shoots three, while well, teacher accidentally shoots three more. You know, you're like, ah. Oh. It's Martin Phillips. Boom. Another unbelievable performance by Martin Phillips. That's his second minute tonight on Kill Tony. Two episodes back to back. Heck yeah. So, uh, you did it again. Uh, yippee. So, <laughs> what? I said yippee. Yeah, yeah yippee do that motherfucking day, baby. Yeah. That's how it's done in the pros, no doubt about it. So uh, we talked with you about a lot of things. Your substitute teacher that last episode, this and that. And uh, yeah. um, what are some everyday, like everyday life things with muscular dystrophy, having that like that uh, that are affected by you? Th- th- uh, a lot of uh, things uh, uh, hard. Uh, 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 a huge cock. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, That's right. Uh, do you have to like put towels all around the toilet seat or anything like that? Like, do you have to put like paper towels all around your toilet before you pee or anything uh, like that? You pee everywhere. You no, sit. You uh, sit down to pee. I, well, wait, I I just I prefer to sit down. It's more comfortable. It's yeah, not, I agree. But, but I agree. I do yeah, that sometimes. Maybe like that. I, I, I can aim it with fit. This is like the, the bad arm. Oh, so. Okay. so this arm gets, it gets control. Wow, there. look at that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow, you have muscular dystrophy, but that dick's retarded, man. That thing's crazy. I just caught a little glimpse of the outline of that fucking meat stick. My God. That, that fucking thing's forest plump. It's... It's just a ama- it's a testament to how long you've been doing comedy and stuff. How much you're more understandable than like sixty percent of the <laughs> comics we get up here. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. Fucking yeah, wild. Yeah. It's incredible what uh, what focus and enunciation and and trying hard does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, yeah. You've been doing stand up. Remind us again for how long? Like seven eight years. Seven eight years. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I love it, man. You do any fun gigs in your life? Uh, highlights of your career so far? Uh, uh, um, Other I, uh, than be- killing two episodes in a row in the number one live podcast in the world? Uh, uh, I did a show. This is kind of cool. I guess it's different. I did a show inside a Lazy Boy Furniture store. Oh, wow. fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that was. Uh, wow, that's and it, fucking incredible. Yeah, it's naked, and that's the. Uh, not many people can say that, and it's. That's and true. It, and it's great because everyone has a seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, how oh, oh. I yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. What are some what are physical activities that you might do sometimes that we would be surprised no, to actually, find out? I, I, what was I going to say? Nothing. Okay, I, a yeah, garbage I human talked at that yeah, moment. I don't know. Okay, I, I actually, I have done actually a lot of 5Ks, actually. I've actually walked and ran like a lot of 5Ks. Wow, 5Ks. That's and, incredible. And, uh, uh, it, and uh, uh, it doesn't always happen, but like I am ne- I'm near the end, you know, maybe not surprising, but 
they, you know, get me metal sometimes, you know. Wow. And I don't know how to feel about that, you know, because right. that people will think like I enjoy running or something. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> all so you do, metals, you, you, know? you do five Ks, and we had a guy up here earlier who looked like he did three Ks. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. uh, it's funny if you if you want to look here, and I just did the signal before you did it because I yeah. literally wrote that down and I decided <laughs> not to do it. <laughs> is there is there a time like later in night, like when you're watching like a movie or something, where it's uh, you're you, uh, like it's more calm, like like you're like oh, if you, like you're almost James Bond, like I wish they could see me now, where you're just sitting there very relaxed. Is uh, it, uh, does uh, it go up and down? Like do you have like? I mean, I think right now I'm just being on stage, right. a little bit more nervous. Let me ask so you this: Have you ever thought about taking a bath in infinite CBD? <laughs> Just pure ninety nine percent pure isolate. I'd love to see what ha- would happen there. Yeah, I mean, How many of you think you should take a bath in CBD right now? I don't know. I I, I don't even know how we would do that. Yeah. No, you ever use no. CBD though? I I I uh, I've smoked weed uh, a hand handful of times. So now I a lot of people like, don't know this, but Infinite CBD has been known to cure muscular dystrophy. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, promo code kill time. Uh, 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 As real apple cider vinegar in it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. That is so cool. Any other fun facts that we should find out about you before we send you uh, uh, on your um, way? I have a, a cat named Popcorn. You have a cat Aww. named Popcorn? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cute. How yeah. adorable <laughs> is that? You put it in the microwave? Hold on a I, uh, He's got I, something he wants to I, say. Uh, 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 I, I pop that pussy. You know? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Martin Phillips, ladies and gentlemen, he did it again. So fucking awesome, man. So awesome. That's how it's done in the pros right there. Unbelievable. What do you guys think? Back to the bucket, huh? Wowzers. JP being a well-behaved young man with the tape over his mouth. Shout out to the guy that was sort of a dick earlier. Fucking turned it around. I like your style. Very good. We're all back. This is good. The morale in the room is high. How about one more time for Martin Phillips? The bucket of destiny never lies, my friends. As we announced earlier, we recognize a young man from the audience because he was on both a show in Poughkeepsie and a show live at the Gramercy Theater where we are Sunday night in New York City, and I just pulled his name out right now. I present to you, from Kill Tony fame, Justin Wood Circus. He's right here. He's in the house. Here we go. Ah, love this guy. Justin Wood Circus. This guy's multi-talented. Always has some tricks up his sleeve. Come on, make some noise for Justin Wood Circus, everybody. (coughs) So I hear uh, Kill Tony just got back from Australia. You know what an Australian pig says? Oink, oink, oink. (laughs) Fuck you. I've been meeting a lot of Pisces lately. I think it might be a sign. (laughs) 12 p.m., that's noon. 12 a.m., that's midnight. But they should probably just call it moon. 12 noon, 12 moon. Then you could tell people I didn't get home last night until late afternoon. It's not a laugh, it's a thinker. I got one, one quick joke for you. What did the cat say when 60 seconds had passed? Oh, you heard that one before. What did the bear say when the comedian went over his time? Wow. That's a very, very impressive... Uh, very impressive use of uh, the show's format. Justin Wood Circus, welcome I, back. I actually wrote jokes this time. You you tried. I, uh, <laughs> I love it. Have you been testing those jokes out on the other Pirates of the Caribbean? 
<laughs> I probably made that joke about you before, but it's good to see you again, oh, yeah. Justin Wood Circus. We've had a lot of fun this year, actually. That's all Uh-oh. been. It was only a few months ago. Yeah. It's been a chaotic year for us, traveling everywhere. How have you been, man? I've been, uh, I've been good. I've been good. It's gotten a lot better for me since, uh, since I got that Kill Tony bump. Yeah, you certainly did. It's, uh, it's really interesting stuff because you were the first guy to ever bring up the words TikTok on yeah. the show. Like yeah, I had no TikTok. idea what that was, and then I started seeing more and more of it around and in uh, social media. So. You're a hip dude, as you could probably tell by anyone that would dress that way in public. Uh, probably <laughs> has his finger on the pulse. Yeah, what's the next thing? What's the uh, next? Uh, uh, I'll, yeah. sh- I'll tell you after. Oh, yeah. I like it. If it's so good, he won't say it on the air. That means this is some good fucking info. I like it, dude. I like it. Don't give me that crazy look. Your lovely Asian uh, wife, girlfriend, what do we call that again? Uh, Joyce. This is my lovely yes. assistant. Lovely assistant Joyce. That's your assistant. Yeah. Both uh, a- at the in the ju- juggling or magic. Yeah, or we got a it's circus show. It's a whole it's a, circus. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a one-hour show. Is we there do any together. chance you brought anything or can do anything? Of course I do. Wow. What are, you, what are we going to do tonight? Um, well, I mean, I could do some stuff, but, uh, uh, you know, if, if you, if you get us up on, uh, 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 that big stage in New York, uh, you know, we, we could do a lot more. Of I mean, course, I mean, but how about now? Say. How about tonight? Well, how about, you how pull about it up here, I could do something. What do you want to put up there? I got Diablo. You know Diablo? N- no. We don't? Oh, you don't know oh. Diablo. Oh, well, in that case, I, I could do some, uh, hat tricks or something. Okay, yeah, do no, a hat do trick. Do something. Anybody want to see him do a trick with his hat? Ha- this is Hat Tricks, live on Kill Tony, D.C., Late Show. Wow. All right. He threw the hat on his head. That was actually pretty smooth. Not as easy as it looks. Whoa, a little twist. Whoa. All right, yeah. It's a tough... Cr- oh, wow. Look at that. He can't get the hat on his head. Whoa, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was really cool. Whoa. It was in his mouth. I love it. Justin Wood Circus. With I some didn't hat say tricks. they were good. Yeah, I didn't go. say they were good. I love that one that flew up. That was sweet. <laughs> Let's check in with Spencer. Is this what smoking pot is like? <laughs> Yes, yes it is. Wow. That's so fun. Anything else crazy happened in your life, Justin, since the last time we saw you? Oh man, where to begin? Oh man. Well I've been I, I put your pin on, on this uh, little dangly thing uh, in my car. I still need to get you to put a uh, mustache on mustache it. Mustache. It doesn't on look yeah. right. No, I know. We'll get a thick uh, black magic marker and throw I, I, it on there. A, a pencil, a thin pencil. There you go, a thin <laughs> pencil. Sure. There you go. That's one, that's one lady that choked on food during that one. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's so fun, man. Um, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, it's always great to be here, man. I love it. You're a fucking icon in the history of the show. Go back and watch his appearances in Poughkeepsie and especially at the Gramercy Theater. This guy is. A world class juggler. He's from New York City, and you made the trip here today, huh? Hey, thank you. I love it. We thank love you, you so man. much. We love fans like Look. you that uh, that follow it around and get lucky. You sign up. You have good karma, and I, I think you've been pulled out of the bucket almost every show you've been to, right? Uh, no, I went to a couple, but oh, okay. but you well, you you keep mentioning me every time I like walk by and you make fun of me. That was uh, the first couple times, like in uh, 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 Swan Sea. That was oh, a crazy yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. There you go, Justin Wood Circus. Thank you. And gentlemen, we're going to keep it moving along. Instagram, Justin Wood Circus, all one word. What do you guys think? One more time to the bucket? That's a lot of names in that bucket, man. There I see are a that. Lot of like names. If it was up to me, we'd stay here all night pulling names out of this bucket, but. Unfortunately, this has to be it, no matter what happens. I pulled it out. Hearts over the eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Brittany Danielle. Brittany Danielle. Here we go. Oh, boy. Wow. From right next to JP. Why am I nervous about this? I'm frightened. friend I would understand I would understand here 
Here she is, Brittany Danielle. Hi. So I was raised by a crack whore. <laughs> she still sucks dick for money, but she doesn't so much dabble in the crack anymore. She's just kind of like a super cute little old grandma now, and she's super good with my, gosh, she's, or with my kids, you guys. She's so good, y'all. I only caught her doing a bump off the baby soft spot one time. But, like, what mom hasn't done a little baby bump, you know? <laughs> I recently had a recovered memory when I was probably, like, 12 of my mom's friends screaming at her, like, you're just a whore, all you'll ever be is a whore. And my mom responded by saying, at least I'm smart enough to get paid, honey, you're just a slut. <laughs> Burn, right? <laughs> and that's when I realized why my mom always treats me like I'm dumb. But joke's on her, because I get paid in the validation that she never gave to me, so. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brittany Danielle, that was great. Let's talk about it. I didn't catch the last thing you said. You get paid in what that she could never what? The validation she never gave me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First time, uh, how long have you been trying stand-up? Oh, it's first time. First time. Wow. There you go. Great. I could tell. That's Thank beautiful. You. Congratulations to you. You have a great stage presence. Oh, First thank time, you. great delivery, I'm very like calm. Super bad. This is really scary. Yeah, no, it <laughs> is for sure. But you handled it well. Um, I also don't know how to take this out of here. I was trying to yeah, act like it's. Never mind. Just pull on it. <laughs> pull on it. Pull it. Be careful. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Like okay, a, that's better. Just gotta pull. Yeah. Sorry, but like, I was just like. That was so hot. <laughs> uh oh. Spencer's got a little fucking. <laughs> Bony in his pants <laughs> over there. Yeah, my soft spot just turned into a hard spot. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. So that's all true, huh? Your mom was uh, a prostitute? Yes, a crack whore. Oh, and wow. she was a madam for a while, and then things went a little south because, you know, the crack. And then what do you do? Um, I, I'm i a mom, uh -huh. and I, I like, work for a school bus company. Oh, that's so cool. Boo. I know. What? I don't understand. Don't. Why would you boo that, Kyle? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm only 17, dude. Oh, okay. Let's check in with Spencer. Yeah, <laughs> we know about your mom, but who is your daddy and what does it do? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a blockbuster. It's an old movie. It's a <laughs> so do you make a lot of roses? Well, I want to know about her dad. Okay. Make a lot of roses? He's, he's, ju he's just a guy. How about this? And who's this guy right here? Is this uh, oh, the baby daddy? Friend. Oh, just a no, friend? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Whoa. What's uh? What Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, why do you, why, why do you say why do you oh, say? Oh, I'm, like I'm married. Oh, you're married. So you're still with the baby daddy. Separated. Separated, but yeah. married to someone else. Yes. Right, but not him. Right. No. <laughs> Even though this guy looks like he uh, wants to fuck, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> For you audio listeners, he's this huge black guy wearing no <laughs> shirt. <laughs> wow, look at that. He loved that compliment. Uh, he's, he's a Mexican guy, but he's a good-looking guy. He's got the beard chiseled, wearing the short sleeve fucking fleece tonight. <laughs> What's the story with this guy? Who's this friend of yours? Oh, he's just a friend. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'm buying that for a second. I don't know. How do you know him? Um, Just through friends. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty woman walking down the street. Oh, no, I never joined the family business. <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's a quick <laughs> reference. Is your mom still working? And what's her number? Whoa. Uh, she is. Really? But yeah, I don't know if she's doing like the pimping or the hooking anymore. It's kind of like don't ask, don't tell. There you go. Very Situation. Good. Heck yeah. So that, what do you do for fun? You seem like a girl that has cool hobbies, right? Um, I don't know. I like to drink. Yeah? What's yeah. Your, what's your drink of choice? Uh. Natty Light. <laughs> like nice beers but I will also like shotgun a shitty beer <laughs> wow look at you <laughs> you're a little fucking rude. party machine is there a dark side to you think is there like oh. a, do, you, do you think that uh, any of the sexually active genetics of your mother carry on through you in any way May maybe <laughs> so that's a yes a little bit <laughs> wait is that your friend that just said yes was no. that you no no, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> trying to figure out what, where to what came first, the marriage or the kids? Good um, question. Well, uh, I was pregnant during the marriage. 
Fuck okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Health insurance, you know. How many kids do you have? I have two. All right. How old are they? Seven and four. Seven and four. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Gross. So, uh, Thank you, JP. <laughs> oh, sorry. Man, no other uh, no other hobbies or anything like that? Any fun facts uh, about you that you think we should know about? Uh, what about your dad? What was your dad's situation in your life? Oh, he was around sometimes. <laughs> uh, He's around now. He's cool. He's yeah. cool. He's around now. Yeah, what's, what's wrong, Spencer? I asked that question five minutes ago, and everybody ignored me. Uh, I answered. It's <laughs> because <laughs> you're so young. We you don't really you don't have those alpha energies. Sorry, no one Spencer. really noticed yet. It'll it'll All come right. to you, Spencer. You wrote off as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> oh, you were changing. That was my asking. question. Oh. And then you guys were like, ha, ah, very dumb. <laughs> no. Moved on. We didn't say that. We insinuated <laughs> that. That's two different things. So your dad is okay with your mom like hooking and stuff like that? Oh, or? God, no. They're not together. Right. Yeah, but did she, did she do it when they were together? Or? Oh, no. That happened like she like left him and then told me like a week later, like, this is what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good yeah. lord. So That's wild. Cool it. Is your yeah. mom a squirter? Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Brett Ryan Red Band. Let's all do it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Trash, Trash can. can. Oh, what You're I out of control. Do you know? Thanks, man. Do, do you know how excited that guy was to remove the tape off his mouth so he could yell "trash can" <laughs> and then put he it really back did. on? I love that. I'll tell you what. I, I just don't think we can end an episode this way. Uh, but uh, how about one more time for Brittany Danielle? Thank I you. think I think we gotta figure something out here. I think we got to do something. You know what? You know what we haven't done tonight is, uh, is, is there anybody, is there anybody out in the audience that signed up for the bucket that has a minute that they want to do that happens to know how to play the drums? Is there anybody that's like real up? drums, not just yeah, like I know how to fuck around you know how to play it. drums. You really signed up. What's your name? Mike, how long have you played the drums for? What's your full name again? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your final comedian of the night, live from Washington, D.C. He goes by the name of Mike Angle, everybody. Here we go. A brand new minute from Mike Angle. I dated this lady. Um... I know, amazing, right? <laughs> Dated a lady who had a thigh portrait tattoo of a celebrity face. Jeff Goldblum. That's right, Jeffrey Goldblum from the movie The Fly, Independence Day, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World, colon, the sequel, The Coming of Christ. You guys know Jeffrey Goldblum, okay? You know him. You love him. It did make, listen, it did make sex difficult, okay, <laughs> okay? I had to be in a hunched over kisses technique. I could not be in a power splay, okay? If I did, there was Jeffy G's face staring at my face. <laughs> and I was afraid that tattoo would become sentient one day, and he would say his classic line from the motion picture, Jurassic Park. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> The punchline. Wow. There you I'm go. pulling out. Mike uh, Mike Angle. <laughs> Very interesting uh, attempt at stand-up. This is your first time trying stand-up comedy? Oh, no. I've been, do- I've been doing it five years. You've been doing it for five years, yeah. and you went with the Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jurassic Park inspired me. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Thanks so you've been you. doing comedy five years. Yeah. So you're fully qualified just in case you're the first ever person to win a Mexican drum off. You're fully qualified to take over as, as oh, a absolutely. As I play full time. I'm in a I'm in a, punk, I'm in a punk rock band called the Alex Jonestown Massacre. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. How many of you guys want to see this guy play the drums right yeah. now? All right. Here we go. You guys know the deal. It's a drum solo competition where using the stage and putting on a performance counts in the audience's favor. They decide who wins the Mexican drum off live here in Washington, D.C. 
So I remind you, it's about comedy. It's about drums. It's about fucking rock and roll. Uh, I will warn you, even though there's a lot on the line, you could become the new drummer on Kill Tony. I will warn you, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez takes every challenge very seriously, and he is all-time undefeated at this. Are you willing to put on a challenge here? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Angle, Mexican drum off, live from Washington, D.C. You know what? You know what? This is Washington, D.C. This is an American drum off. Beautiful. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wowie. Yowie. Wowie. It is scary in this room right now. There is a slight chance that for the perhaps the first time ever, we have a real fucking challenge. Now I will say this is that, uh, and you know, Mike, maybe uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe stand behind Jeremiah against that wall right there. No, 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 not there. Against the wall, right there, right there. Yeah, just stay there. Uh, now there is a lot on the line here, guys. This is a really big deal. Clearly, this just turned into something very special. We've seen a lot of Mexican drum offs. I don't think I've ever seen quite an explosion on the drums as to what we just witnessed from a challenger before. However, I'll tell you this, is that this green room at this venue is basically non-existent. I know for a fact that Joel is right on the other side of that wall with an opening on this side, listening, soaking in the energy. His heart's probably fluttering at the sound of a holy shit chant being started by the audience going on before him. This is his wheelhouse. He takes these challenges very seriously. And no better way to end an episode, our final DC Kill Tony here tonight with a Mexican drum off featuring the undefeated all-time star of the drums on Kill Tony, the one and only Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> Whoa, he's... He's huffing Huffin'. paint. He's huffing paint. Oh my God! He huffs some. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh it's fishing oh, it's out. Sucking it. The it's purple dildo. It. It's the purple dildo. I taught him that. <laughs> we all know what the real fucking Washington Monument is, right oh, here, baby. Wow. Joel is behind the drums. He's got the purple dildo on his waist. He throws the white dildo into the audience. Oh, a guy threw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Defending his throne, and it's a big challenge. The one and only Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez. Still got it. He's still going. What's he doing? Oh! Oh! He's revealed the underwear. <laughs> I will never get over what his ass looks like. Wow. Ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, the place is in absolute chaos. The trademark, oh, he's chugging somebody's drink. This is incredible. The trademark flat ass is out of Joelberg Joel Jimenez. This is incredible. This is a down to the wire. This is this is UFC. This is World Series. This is Super Bowl we're talking. This is by far the greatest Mexican drum off we've ever had on this show. Now, the question is, how many of you live from D.C. in this <laughs> Mexican drum off have... Mike, come on up here. Okay. How many of you have Mike Angle winning this thing? Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay, okay, relax. How many of you have Joelberg Joel Jimenez winning this? There you go. And still, the drummer for Kill Tony. No doubt about it. He's on the stand. Whoa, he's break dancing. He's celebrating with a break dance. Oh, and the suck it. How about one more time for Mike Angle, everybody? There Thank you go. God. Mike Angle. A lot of fun tonight. How about one more time for the great Jeremiah Watkins yeah. over there? Spencer, everybody. <laughs> Jeremiah's got a lot going on. He's headlining Huntington Beach, St. Louis, Chicago, Kansas City, uh, San Diego, Rosemont, a bunch of fun things. JeremiahWatkins.com. He's a Jeremiah stand-up on social media. He's got Jeremiah Wonders. The new Roadcast episode is up right now. Anything else, Jeremiah? Uh, YouTube.com slash Jeremiah. Yeah, Hawkins. okay. All right, sure. Uh, how about I love uh, you guys. Thank you. How about, uh, how about, and still, the Kill Tony drummer, Joelberg Joel Jimenez, huh? Wow. I think we all found out tonight how he is one of the official Ludwig artists. He is on social media at Mostly Sorry. It's his first night ever in Washington, D.C., and that's how he closed it out. Joel, anything else you want to tell these yeah, people? Yeah, I just want you guys to know, I fucking, I would kill myself for you guys. This is, I, you know, fit on stage, I'm so glad to do this for you guys. This is a great night. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. What did we learn tonight is that next time, cheer for the other guy and watch Joel kill yeah, himself. Yeah, you got it. Uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to be here all weekend, guys. If you guys uh, find any free time or want to tell your friends, there's still tickets available. There's two shows tomorrow night, two shows Saturday night. We're doing stand-up comedy, long comedy sets uh, from me, guest spots from all these guys, and so much fun uh, stuff happening. We're also taking Kill Tony to Columbus, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Big announcements coming around uh, in the next uh, week or two for uh, new 2020 Kill Tony tour dates. And uh, that's right. For all you pro wrestling fans, uh, November 23rd, Storcade for the first time ever live from the Comedy Store Wrestling Ring in the main room of the Comedy Store. Gigantic pro wrestling event. It's going to be insane. And uh, Ryan J. Ebelt has uh, made custom DC posters that we're going to be signing and shaking hands and taking pictures with anybody who wants one right after the show. There's also the new Kill Tony pin. And by the way, guys, I uh, just relaunched uh, Death Squad Studio. So got a new William Montgomery and David Lucas podcast, a Brian Holtzman podcast. Death Squad Chronicles is coming back. Go. Uh, so go to Death Squad D TV and check them all out. Thanks a lot, guys. We love Epstein you guys. didn't kill himself. There you go. We'll see you this weekend. Good night. Come on.